ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks, one of the most famous country music stars of all time, is known for his incredible voice, energetic performances, and hit songs like Friends in Low Places and The Dance. Over the years, he has won numerous awards and sold millions of albums, making him a household name in country music. People admire him not only for his music, but also for his kind personality and down-to-earth image. But in 2024, that image took a hit when serious allegations were made against him. A woman, who is using the name Jane Roe to protect her identity, came forward and filed a lawsuit against Garth Brooks. According to Roe, she worked as a hairstylist and makeup artist for Garth. She had first been hired to work with his wife, Trisha Yearwood, in 1999, but began working directly with Garth around 2017. The allegations she made were shocking. Roe claimed that in 2019, while on a work trip with Garth to Los Angeles, he sexually assaulted her. She says that Garth raped her in a hotel room during this trip. The details she shared are disturbing. According to Roe, she and Garth flew to Los Angeles on his private jet for a Grammy tribute performance. She says that Garth booked a hotel suite for them, but there was only one bedroom, which made her feel uncomfortable. Once they arrived at the hotel, she alleges that Garth appeared naked in the doorway of the bedroom, making her feel trapped. She claims that later, he raped her in the hotel room. But that's not all. Roe also accused Garth of behaving inappropriately during other times while she was working for him. She claims that Garth exposed himself to her multiple times, made sexual comments, and even groped her. She also says that he sent her sexually explicit text messages. According to her, Garth would change his clothes in front of her without warning and talk to her about his sexual fantasies, even suggesting the idea of a threesome with his wife. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I got lost on the way over here. My fault, and thank you for giving me a second chance. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You're Garth Brooks. You get as many chances as you want. Garth Brooks strongly denies these allegations. In fact, before Roe publicly filed her lawsuit, Garth had already filed his own lawsuit against her. But he did it anonymously under the name John Doe. He did this because he wanted to protect his family from the public attention. Garth's lawsuit claims that Roe had been threatening him for months, demanding that he pay her millions of dollars in what he calls hush money to keep her quiet. He refused to pay, and when the threats didn't stop, he decided to take legal action. In his statements, Garth said that he has been dealing with these threats and lies for a long time and wanted to set the record straight. He said that paying hush money, no matter how much, would mean he was admitting to something he didn't do. He believes that the allegations against him are completely false and that Roe is trying to damage his reputation to get money from him. Garth even said that he filed the lawsuit to defend himself and his family from what he sees as an attempt to extort him. Roe's attorneys argue that Garth is trying to intimidate their client and silence her by filing a lawsuit first. So I love that. And I kind of love the differences because that's the fun part of it. They believe that their client is telling the truth and are confident that Garth will be held accountable in court. Roe's legal team praised her bravery for coming forward, especially since Garth Brooks is such a big name in the music world. The case has drawn a lot of attention, with fans and the media following it closely. On one hand, you have a beloved country music star who has spent decades building a positive public image. And on the other hand, you have serious allegations of sexual assault and misconduct that could destroy his reputation. This case highlights how even the most well-respected public figures can face serious accusations. Garth's supporters argue that the timing of the lawsuit and the demands for money suggest that it's a scheme to harm him, while others believe that Roe's courage in speaking out deserves to be recognized. 
The outcome of the case will likely have a significant impact on both Garth Brooks and Jane Roe, as well as the music industry as a whole. At the moment, the legal battle between Garth Brooks and Jane Roe is ongoing. Both sides are sticking to their stories. Garth insists the claims are false, and Roe's legal team is standing by her accusations. It's a complex and emotionally charged case, and only time will tell what the outcome will be. For now, Garth continues to maintain his innocence, while Roe continues to seek justice for what she says happened in 2019. As the story unfolds, fans, legal experts, and the public alike are watching closely to see how it all plays out. Whether Garth Brooks will be cleared of these allegations or face further consequences is still unknown, but it is clear that this case will be remembered for a long time, no matter the outcome.